all right guys welcome thank you very much for watching this video um, if my voice sounds a little strange i apologize i am on my third day of having covid and this is the um, fourth time i get covid i think in the past two years i've lost count i've had so many I just uh, every time i take an airplane every time i fly with an airplane i get covid every time i don't know why <laughs> uh, i guess i should wear a mask <laughs> Um, yeah, I laugh because uh, uh, I think my body got so used to it now that within like three days, I'm fine. Uh, yeah, so I do feel a lot better. I'm very happy to be back. I have a video that I'm, you know, obviously making right now. And there's a reason why I'm putting out this video today. It's, it has to go today. I had no other choice. I'm actually a bit late on it. Uh, if you're if you're um, over on the European continent, you know about the Euro 2024, which is beginning today, I think. Uh, and then we have on June 26, the Olympics at Paris in France. And why would that be of any importance in regards to the stock market? Well, it is. Um, there's publicly traded companies in the stock market who are uh, sports betting companies, right? And there's nothing greater right now, a huge boost of revenue. This is going to be insane because the Euro 2024 or the Paris Olympics, these are events that take place every four years. And now we're getting both in the same summer, right? So this summer, both. Uh, and that's going to be a, in, in, you guys, you have to understand, it's going to be an incredible, incredible um, boost. Um, and it will increase the earnings and will give great earnings. Um, to some companies that I will mention some of them um, in the third quarter and fourth quarter of this year. You're going to see that the results from the Euro 2024 and the Paris Olympics are going to show in their earnings in the third quarter and in the fourth quarter and um, their stocks should go higher. So with that being said, let's go to it. Sports Radar Group AG, guys, take a symbol SRAD. It's trading at $11.06 as uh, at the time of recording this video. Now, if you were in my Discord, you would know that I called SRAD a buy back on March, March 20th, 2024. And so here it is when I had posted, I told them, guys, I bought SRAD at $10.75 as I had posted to you all on Patreon and YouTube member posts over an hour ago. So I always let them know ahead of time what I'm going to buy, right? Uh, and at what price. So I had told them, guys, I'm going to buy SRAD um, about $10.75 where it was trading out at the time. And that was, and then an hour later when I did buy it, I just confirmed and told them that I have it. Okay, so they knew. Um, right now, I'm up 3%, all right? So I'm up 3.07% on that purchase, uh, up 33 bucks, no big deal, right? You know, uh, well, obviously I'm expecting a lot more uh, for this because Sports Radar is one of the top stocks to look at when you want to play the Euro 2024 or the Paris Olympics without indirectly taking any bets on specific matches or whatever, right? So Sports Radar, I, I, I now I'll explain what this company is about, and they're actually they actually facilitate and give services to the sports betting companies, right? So it's more, it's more crucial uh, and more important to uh, for me to invest in them. And here is a uh, you know it's it's important obviously the Paris 2024 Olympics and the Euro 2024 in Germany. Uh, now to to show you how important this is, the industry is heavily dependent on the economy and consumption. Warren Bader Bank trader Mark Richer, uh, he, he said, fortunately, the Euro and the Olympics have provided economic and quarterly earnings boost in the past, and we expect that. We we expect an economic, we expect a quarterly boost, and I expect that uh, Sports Radar will do very well. Uh, and we'll finish off the year in 2024 with the stock trading higher than what it is now. So Sports Radar Group AG guys, together with its subsidiaries, provides sports data services for the sports betting and media industries in the United Kingdom, the United States, Malta, Switzerland, and internationally. It's sports data services to the bookmaking under the Bet Trader. 
uh, brand name and to the international media industry under the sports radar media service brand name. The company offers mission critical software, data and content to sports leagues and federations, um, betting operators and media companies. So they basically cover everything that has to do with the sporting industry. And you know, I'm not uh, by by me investing in them. I'm not investing in specifically okay betting or whatever. Uh, they provide everybody with you know the sports betting companies. They provide the media companies. They provide the federations, sport federations, with all the software and, and all that stuff necessary. They have nearly. I mean, they're, they're close to getting a billion dollars in revenue. I'll show you that information in a little bit. And here is the revenue, guys. If you look at the revenue for uh, Sports Radar Group in 2019, they had 380 million dollars, and it just constantly increases every year so that's perfect every year great uh, year over year revenue growth to reach 2023 with 877 million dollars and it is expected that in 2024 for the full year 2024 they will have higher revenue than that of 2023 we can look at the gross profit was 671 million operating income at 62 million positive and the net income is positive at 34.6 million which is great the operating cash flow positive 258 million and guys the free cash flow is stunning stunning the free cash flow is growing every single year this is a profitable company they've been going from 139 million to reach 244 million positive free cash flow and the revenue is growing i mean just you know i just feel like it and you have that uh what's going on now in the summer with the euro and the uh Paris Olympics and and this company being great and you know great balance sheet I just don't think I can go wrong by investing in this this is just my opinion do not do not do not buy this stock because you saw my video you know if you're gonna buy this stock buy it because you did your own due diligence if we look at the total assets guys at 2.2 billion dollars total liabilities at 1.3 billion and the total debt just 50 million dollars so when we go to the analyst forecast guys they give it a low of 11.50 and a, a average of about 14 bucks and a high of 17 us dollars to finish off the year in 2024. So with that being said, guys, sports betting companies on both sides of the Atlantic, whether you're in Europe or in the US, because there's American companies also, I think stand to benefit from the Euro 2024 and the Olympics because that's where they make their money for you. Know, it's events like that that give them the highest boost of revenue. And so some companies that you can think of um, are, you know, SRAD that I that I invested in, but like I said, you got to do your own due diligence. There's also DraftKings. Uh, there's also BetMGM, all right? MGM, take a symbol MGM. Uh, for DraftKings is DKNG. Or, I mean, you can look at Bets, B-E-T-Z, which is an exchange traded fund that focus, uh, focuses on this sector and, you know, they have whatever they have on their holdings, I don't remember right now. Uh, it's from Round Hill Investments. So that's that. Let me know in the comment section below if you think this is a good idea, if you think this is a good investment. And if you do follow the Euro 2024, let me know in the comment section below which country will win the European Cup. All right. This is for football, soccer, if you're in the US. Right. So who's going to win it? Um, it's also interesting and weird to me. Um, how in the world is this is just my you know, just my opinion. If this is the Euro 2024 and has to do with the European continent, how in the world do we have Turkey and Georgia in the Euro 2024? <laughs> Turkey, okay, fine. They're pretty close, obviously, to the European continent. But Georgia? <laughs> That's so far from European continent. Whatever. So thank you very much for watching this video. Wish you guys all the best. Take care.